Sawyer with Lake Life Realty and joining me today is Steven Landscaping Professionals landscape architect Paul. Paul has been working tirelessly for months on this project that we are currently in phase one standing under. So super excited. Let's take them back to the beginning and where we are today. Basically for this video, we're going to talk about what's happened what's, and then what's the plan for going forward. Well, there's so much that's happened here, really, from where we started, because we started out with an initial schematic drawing, which for us is sort of a rendered master plan. And when you look at that and you look at where we've come, it's you can see the development over time and things that we've changed and things that have um, things that have moved around and adjusted on site as we've gone through the process and discussed and um, reviewed different things and priorities and what we've wanted and what we've looked at. So. I think it, uh, even the initial concept of the pavilion has changed in that we added a bathroom, um, we've added some more counter space, and I think we've made it uh, more functional for what you want to use it for into the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of an evolving idea, and luckily you've been able to evolve and keep me in check <laughs> for it. So what we're standing under is the framing of the timber peg construction that Steeplechase did for us. They essentially built this structure above us off-site in their Tamworth location and then kind of pieced it together. So it was already like pre-finished, if you will. And they had done all the planning and work on that too to make mm -hmm. it an easier process. And doing that kind of construction makes it a faster build on site because they could do all the planning beforehand, build it in the shop where it's you know warmer than it is today. <laughs> and then when they get it on site, it's a relatively easy um, install because they have all the parts labeled and they know exactly where everything's gonna go and they've measured it all. So it makes for a much easier um, install. So which, that's also what we're planning on doing when we do you know the bathroom and it starts coming up on that. We have all the plans and stuff, so it should be a relatively um, seamless process. Yes, I mean, the planning that went into it, Paul had to work alongside Steeplechase to know exactly where the measurements were for where walls were hitting. So everything pieces together well. There's a feature wall in here. We had to make sure that the beams lined up there, where the lighting was gonna go to run lighting through. There's so much teamwork that had to be done and preliminary ideas to make sure that when it all comes together, there's no backtracking, there's no you know, exposed wires running here and there. It's all ahead of time that we had to do this. And that started six plus months ago. Right? We, I think, met with you in March or April okay, to so do the ago. plan. So, <laughs> over a year. But we also had a long permitting process too, which we don't always have mm -hmm. to do for your, because your site was specific location in Maltonboro and there were specific regulations that we had to follow. So that increased the time schedule a little bit on that and that we had to get other parties involved. So it's really been a collaborative process between the engineers and the builders Steven's landscaping, client free, um, everything to get this, uh, and the town, to get yeah. this built, and the surveyor, and all the other parties that we've had involved in this. So it's mm -hmm. been a really uh, collaborative process from beginning to end. Yeah, and a learning process. Oh yeah, for sure. Too. And it's, it's been interesting to see, so where we are now, they have the structure here, but they had to bring in clear and all the, off the trees as well. They had to, there's going to be two bathrooms here, so they had to dig in through the parking lot bring all the septic lines over here and as we well in the electric. And connected to the septic too, yep. the sewer system. Yep, so. had to connect to the bay sewer. <laughs> so now we are connected there, so that's great. That's exciting. Yeah, so to come, why don't you start and share some of the favorite things you're excited about in Belt they'll see in phase two. Well, we're gonna be starting um, construction on the feature wall, which will be great. We're gonna have a fireplace in that. Um, the lighting and the chandeliers are in order, so we're gonna be hanging some, basically some twinkle lights over the counter, which will be really pretty, some chantry lights. Um, part of the patio just showed up today, so we've done a paving pattern for that. And so that's sitting on pallets right now, getting ready for the snow to melt. <laughs> so you can put the base prep in here. We have base prep underneath, so we should be good to go with that with building. So once, um, we can get the feature wall framed out. We can start veneering that. We'll probably tent that out. Um, so that'll be a fun process to see as the stone comes out um, and see how that sort of forms itself up the side. And then we'll be able to start adding in the other features. So yeah. I think it's going to be really exciting. Come back in another month or two and it'll be totally different. Yeah, I think pretty much everything, you know, weather permitting is everything. The products are here, which luckily for us, which it's is usually not, not for everybody in these days. But I'm very excited about the outdoor bar. The outdoor bar, bar will be really nice, and we have a what is that? A little footrest for you, yep. and we're we'll like bar the kick, kick, kick rest stand, thing yeah. or whatever it's called, <laughs> and then um, an upper bar and a lower bar, and there'll be storage and stuff, so you can have all kinds of drinks and parties and catering yeah. and all the other fun stuff. I think part of what made this more of a seamless is the planning that went into it too, mm -hmm. so that we could you know plan six months in advance. So where do we want the windows? Then we could get right. the windows ordered so that they're here and. Um, a reasonable enough time for us to be able to frame with what we're doing. Too, yeah. so. 
I think that was one of the things that worked out really well with this project. Yeah. And your ability to make decisions <laughs> is also helpful. <laughs> you guys keep me in line. I know, I know what I like. <laughs> and that's important because a lot of people don't. So if you yeah. have a firm vision, it does make the decision process faster. Well, it helps when I see houses and the landscapes. All and the time. All the time. I, I have an idea <laughs> kind of what, of what my <laughs> options are already. <laughs> well, that's true. So yeah, so we're showing you images, but you also have something in your mm -hmm. mind. So we can help guide the images and then we can come to a conclusion point and then we, yeah. all right, let's go. Pull yep. the trigger, let's do it. Yeah, so thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. We're excited. We'll, we'll keep you posted on our Instagram stories, on our posts of the evolution of this pavilion and the dream we have here. And if you have more questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you're looking for, you know, ideas for a project similar to this, reach out to Stevens Landscaping and they'll be happy to help. Exactly. And then come visit and come see it when we're done. Yes, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be events, I'm sure. Yes, we're very excited. Bring on the warm weather. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.